किया देवी सर्वभूतेषु शक्ति रूपेण संस्थित नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वभूतेषु मातृपेण संस्थित नमस्त 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 नमो नम या देवी सर्वभूतेषु मीरा रूपेण संस्थित नमस्त 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 नमो नम the mind of the self that is virtually speaking a very first entry into new biology biology as physical science is described is a specific science of physiology universal physiology human physiology is one aspect of the total quantum of science the total magnitude of this science on which the entire discipline of medical science depends but physicality of the cosmos materiality of the cosmos and the materialization of the cosmos from the one and one common source is consciousness that is what it has been very symbolically significantly and supra scientifically connoted and depicted in our scriptures eko ham bahushyam so eko ham is the very first self existent consciousness when world was not there that point of consciousness was there when world will not be there even after that also the very first point of divinity point of supra conscient point of that divine will exist so that is the point from where we can experience and we can assume the velocity of infinity starts infinity is eternity it is state of consciousness as well as the motion within it so motion and the static state are not contradictory it is the static state that is also existence and it is the motion that is also existence so entire cosmos is a static reality but still constantly it is in motion so it is the static reality that results into the 
emotional reality vibrant reality reality in movement reality in velocity reality in transition reality in motion the entire world of physics that tries to study the synthesis between this motion and static reality our body is in motion our body is in static reality in static consciousness so mother for the first time ever in this human birth in 1962 felt the motion at individual level and motion at universal level so motion at individual level ultimately in toto offers to our being the life span that is what our ayushya that is our time the slot of the time from eternity that is granted to us in order to feel all the qualities and potentialities of eternity in our one human body is our life span we are not aware of it right from the very first moment of our birth till we die we simply are made to undergo the experience of beginning and the experience of end so the time that is given to us as life span is the only reality is our illusion that is what shrimad bhagavad gita says mamo maya duratya we presume part fraction moment peace to be the whole infinity is the wholeness of motion infinity is the complete reality of motion is velocity not limited and velocity unlimited is eternity velocity unlimited is infinity but velocity in its form of infinity is yet beyond our mental comprehension with the means of our mind with the means of our subtlest peak of our individual prakriti that is in sri arbindo's terminology individualized consciousness this individualized consciousness does not feel the total velocity of infinity infinity no doubt is a symbolic entity of time but human body is with the gift of mind became human means the matter of the materialized world at universal level has been made individual with individual time and individual space a space is given to us that is our human portion and time 
at that is given to us at individual level is our life span we are living for 90 years 100 years more than that whatever time that is granted to us till death is felt concretely we don't have the experience of death and that is why that is why sri arbindu also left savitri to be finally revised in 1948 the very last portion of happy log that is the final and ultimate gain and boon to the world to the existence to this humanity that is immortality the fulfillment of the prayer of king aswapati that is the fulfillment of the prayer of the entire cosmos fulfillment of the process of evolution at its final and ultimate result rather the ultimate stage of evolution if we can envisage and vision what is the final terminus of this evolutionary process as individual as universal as cosmic consciousness is this fulfillment in the atom in the molecule or in the higgs boson lies the totality of light hidden the totality of divinity hidden in it the totality of infinity mother for the first time in 1962 felt the utmost intensity of the connectivity between the time accorded to us individually and the time that is constantly is existing in the cosmos and that is why it is a de novo experience and satprem here compiling certain quotations directly from the horse's mouth from the mouth of the mother while transiting her being individual being to the last and final terminus of this motion of time the highest peak of time that is infinity there is every possibility that satprem might not have comprehended what mother wanted to say as her inner unique experience that was for the first time accepted and lived by individualized consciousness as one human body lord krishna might have experienced this while projecting himself 
in Srimad Bhagavad Gita in the eleventh chapter, the Virat. Mother in sixty two. That is after the twelve years of time span of Sri Arbindo's departure from human body to the supreme consciousness, to the cosmic consciousness. Mother here on the earth within all limitations of time and space of human body had undergone the same experience as might have been experienced by Lord Krishna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra at the time of presenting 11th chapter to Arjun and Sri Aurobindo had undergone the same experience at the time of 5th December willfully passing from the level of individual consciousness to the level of Virat consciousness, to the cosmic consciousness. And what is this experience scientifically? It is this experience of timeless to be lived in time, infinity, to be lived in mortality, connectivity between this slot of the time granted to us as life span and the eternal flow of time, eternal movement of time, eternal dynamic velocity of time, eternal transition of time from one location to another location. That is practically for our little bit of intellect, practically for our little mind, we can try to grasp and comprehend, which Satprem also at that time could not be comprehend. And Satprem admitted here, in this chapter of other state, Mother was passing from this state of mortality to the other state of immortality, from this state of motion to the other state of the motion of infinity, from this state of space to the other space of materialized immortality. Immortality appears to be non-materialized to us which can be felt, which can be experienced, which cannot be concretely lived with the framework of our flesh and bones. But can it be realized on this planet, materialized planet, in our human body? Can we have the experience of immortality in our human body available to man? That is for the first time one human body had comprehended the possibility that connectivity between mortality and infinity can be established and can not only be established but can be comprehended in toto as scientific truth and this is the research, this is the research. The divinity hidden in the microcosm, human, one human body is really a microcosm as compared to the vast universe, that is Virat. But the microcosm of this microcosm is the reality. Molecule of the matter is the real molecule, real point, real pinpointed reality. Similarly, our individual body is a pinpointed reality of infinity. 
how far larger wider magnitude we can realize in our life we cannot depart from this center of our being where lies the divinity in its total motion of infinity ajo nityo sashvato ayam purano so where lies this ajo nityo sashvato ayam purano mother for the first time searched it out that it is there in the central part of our cell it is the divinity it is the infinity and it is the supreme ajo nityo sashvato ayam purano he is not bound by birth likely to be and must not be bound by the death so that is the very first uh, very first step into the entry of the cosmos remaining within the limitations of one human body only divine can do it only divine can accumulate the total integrality of all conscious waves vibrations frequencies of consciousness interacting in the whole of cosmos getting consolidated becomes matter getting deconsolidated becomes consciousness but the permanent state of that consciousness is consciousness permanent form of this consciousness is mere waves of the light waves of the super conscient waves of the super conscient light waves emitted by the supreme sun from which we kindle all our suns the sun from which in savitri while experiencing this state of virat before jagdamba before world mother before universal mother king aswapati felt and sri arbindu also felt somewhere before 1950 the same thing mother felt it after time span of 12 years sri arbindu departed from this world in 50 and this is the experience of the other world of mother in 62 after the time span of 12 years but is a very decisive experience and sri arbindu also admitted that every time span of 12 years every time slot of 12 years is a very decisive time point of time for me in this sadhana of ascent mother sadhana is the sadhana of descent mother's yoga is the yoga of descent this is the yoga of savitri from entering from the door of mortality to the new entry of immortality from one exit of mortality that is death into the new entry <clears throat> into immortality that is divinity though human we are <clears throat> we are supposed to be grown up into divine though matter of humanity that is human matter given to us as form we can have the right to experience infinity divinity even multiplicity lord krishna lived as individual on the battlefield of kurukshetra 
and lived as Virat also on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. No battlefield that is limited space is a real limitation and no time slot given to the human body of Lord Krishna is also a limitation. That is what mother felt for the first time in 1962 living in human body. How divine can be lived on the earth with all limitations of mortality? And we people are given in this Upanishad of mind of sales. It is the mind that is our exit from mortality. If we want to give up our mortality, along with the death of human body will have to expand our mind in such a way that it can enter into the cell and it can enter into the cosmos. If at one level it can enter into the cell without uh, getting away from its cosmic entity, its Virat entity, Lord Krishna lived there before Arjun. And Arjun was the first witness to see Krishna as Virat and Krishna as individual. Satprem was the very first man to witness mother in her Virat form might not have seen phys with physical eyes but was made to witness mother as Virat universal mother and mother as individual mother of Pondicherry ashram sitting before him. So whatever was there as truth Truth of, Im truth of immortality, truth of ajo nityo sasvato ayam purano, truth of yo maam pasyati sarvatra sarvam cha mai pasyati. Srimad Bhagavad Gita in Toto was the first time lived by a western lady on Indian earth. Entire Gita the link between individual conscious, individualized consciousness and the supreme consciousness as Virat, lived by the mother in 1962. And mother also experienced and used the words mystery, tremendous mystery it is that mother experienced the Swarat <coughs> after 50 on the very first moment of receiving the mind of light. It is the force, it is the divinity of the mind of light received by the mother ultimately makes the human body of the mother, human mind of the mother eligible to enter into individualized consciousness and simultaneously to enter into the universal consciousness. The very first possibility, very first possibility to be universal mother is accorded to the mother <coughs> individually in 1962 that is the other state that is the other state the native stage the native infinity the fundamental prime quality of divinity is infinity self-existent reality that is something beyond reality as we understand and the relativity 
as we experience this is the stage beyond relativity and reality this is absolute reality the spark of absolute reality being experienced by the mother for the first time even in the history of humanity by an individualized consciousness so our framework is also not limit to it our human body is also not limit to it our human time span of ayushya is also not limit to it and our human existence as on the earth is also not limit to us if we can enter into the mind of sales with our physical mind this is what the clue presented by mother before satprem and whatever satprem could understand he tried he tried very sincerely to put this <coughs> truth of indian vedant truth of indian rishis truth of srudavantu amrutasya putraha the logo that was established by indian rishis scientifically in experiment of self human living for self divinization i think this is all right